The data use self-assessment tool with districts has helped me grow it as a facilitator by first observing some of my team members and the questions that they use as we take districts through the self-assessment and the elements. It's very specific as to how systems are ran in their district. So listening to my partners helped give me a starting point with the information that was on the tool. So that when I became a facilitator, a lead facilitator, I was able to learn from those questions and really help the districts that I was working with self-reflect on their processes and their systems and the way in which they were able to grow and adapt or modify their processes through asking specific guiding questions. So for as myself as a facilitator, it was an awesome tool to help grow myself as a learner and help others grow as well. My experience with the data use self-assessment tool started off with being very daunting. Um, it was a lot of information to take in, but as I was able to dig deeper into the tool, I was able to see that it was going to be a great guide to facilitate discussions around data and systems for LEAs. As those layers started to unfold, I was able to see that it provided a pathway to give us more um, options for questioning that allowed the LEAs to be very reflective um, about their current practices and realities in their systems. So this DUSA process and the tools that were used within our school district and our DA team um, really gave us a sense of loopholes or things that we were missing within our district and within our school site. Um, these tools or this tool will give us a chance to look at things that are quick fixes and things that are going to take a little bit more time um, to address to better help our district as a whole. So we've been very fortunate to work with um, Imperial County, like phenomenal team. Super excited to have all of them supporting us through the DA process. And in our district, uh, as if with all of them, we're looking at the four different areas, systems, knowledge, practices, and leadership. And what's been really beneficial for me as the superintendent, but also for our leadership team is one, making sure we have the right people in the room when we're evaluating, we're doing that self-assessment um, in each of the areas. So clerical, your directors, your principals, the teachers, special ed, um, English language development, all of the, the those positions and those people that really make a difference in the lives of our students and their input when it goes to doing this self-assessment. For instance, with the data, uh, I ended up sitting with a couple different people who were like, well, I see when we're, we're doing this this and this happens. So maybe they didn't have access the way that I assumed that they had access to something or they weren't able to retrieve data that we needed um, to see student achievement, to be able to monitor and make decisions about what we're going to do next. So that was really enlightening for me that some people don't have the access that they need to really do the job that they have to, they have to do, that they're hired to do. Uh, in terms of systems, I, in general, am very systems-minded. So when it came to data or just leadership in general and how we're interacting with the staff across the district and our student needs, it was important for us to, like I said, have all of those educational partners in the room with us uh, to help do that assessment because we were seeing things that, that if I'm just talking to my leadership team, my secretaries at the the school sites, they don't have sometimes um, the, the background or like I said earlier, the access. And sometimes they don't even know what they don't know, right? Which is the case of all for all of us. So it really is helpful for me to um, look and are we emerging here? Are we basic here? Are we intermediate here? Like where are we doing a good job and where is it that we really need to improve? 
So for us as a district, very, very helpful, especially when our goal is to improve our processes so that we can support students better. Thank you.